Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I hope you're, uh, you all had a nice week. We had uh, a nice spat of good weather. I hope you got outside, enjoyed some fresh air. I was actually thinking about you guys the other day, and um, all of the games are unblocked. Now think about this. You, have, you can play games whenever you want now. And my question is, is it still fun? You know, because I, I, I really believe that half of the fun is finding the unblocked game. And then playing that game when you're supposed to be learning. I don't know, these are the things I think about. Good news is I have a very fun project for you to play when you're not playing games. And uh, it's going to be a drawing project. And this project I'm basing off of um, this pretty cool artist, his name is Victor Nunes. And he is a retired art professor. And during his spare time, daily, he posts these drawings that he makes on his Facebook and Instagram. So you're gonna wanna check these out. And what he does is he takes found objects like a, like a stick or something, and he'll set it on a piece of paper, and then he'll take um, a pencil or whatever, whatever materials you have laying around the house, and he will draw and try and incorporate this found object into a drawing. So I believe there's nothing more creative than this, and it's something that we can all do from our homes with the objects and things that we find. All you need is a piece of paper and something to draw with. And um, I'm mostly excited to see all of the different things that kids find to incorporate into their drawings. So let me show you a couple of examples of what I was thinking. So as I was saying, uh, Victor takes his objects from around the house and he sets them on a piece of paper and then he makes drawings around them. He's got this new book out called The Drawing Game that highlights this and you should definitely check it out. So what you're going to want to do is uh, step number one is find an object that will fit in your hand. The reason I say this is because it needs to fit on your piece of paper. So if you can start thinking small, that will help. And then find something like a junk drawer. So every house has this random drawer filled with rubber bands, buttons, nails, whatever, coins, tape measure, scissors, whatever you can get your hands on. Another great idea might be food. So think Cheerios, jelly beans, orange slices, almonds. I'm sure you can find objects in your garage, kitchen, or bathroom too. Okay, so you found your object that you want to use, and uh, now is where the work comes in. And um, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about this because creativity is work. And my definition of creativity is the ability to develop new ideas. And this is a very important 21st century skill. It doesn't mean that you have to be an amazing drawer. It just means that you have to have the ability to no longer see this object as what it actually is intended to be, but something new, okay? So when you set this thing down, um, that's when the work happens. And uh, I want you to be excited about this and not intimidated, okay? So when you're doing your drawing, I want you to um, think of this as just an exercise and um, to have fun with it. And as long as it looks like you're having fun, um, you're gonna get full credit. Oh, and I'm gonna need three drawings. So make sure that you have three drawings, probably using different objects, although you could reinvent the same object three different times, and that would be kind of cool too to see. So um, anyway, I hope you're having fun, and I hope that you're treating these projects as just like brain breaks during your day. I know your other teachers have assigned you a lot of work, and um, I'm hoping that this is not stressing you out and that you are finding ways of relaxing during this time. And um, as long as you are having fun and handing things in and I can tell that you're spending some time with these things, you don't need to worry about your grade, okay? All right, guys, I'm super excited and uh, I have some other great projects planned for you, so I'll see you next Monday.